This is all about Boyd and how he gets fired. So here is Boyd's <laughs> name tag. He works for the Cooper organization. Right. Yeah, so um, is it his father's organization? I don't know. I think that's just so you can, when he's down the hallway, you can tell that he's Boyd Cooper without having to read his whole. Although I don't know why they just didn't put his name really big, like Boyd Cooper that's just true. once. Well, it would work. It would work if they also kind of used a little bit more value contrast. It's real, real hard to yeah, read. Yeah, gray on Cooper. gray is not great for a name tag. I know, man. But it, it's a night's watch. It's a night watch. So who, who? Uh, yeah. You know. Well, because yeah, who's gonna see him? No one's, No one needs to know his name. The only person who needs to know is the burglars. And they're not going to need to know anyways. Because Just they, yeah. Here's my name. Remember it in jail. Look how psyched he is here, uh, sitting in his chair, guarding the palm trees and the um, the $22 coats. Oh, yeah. $22 section and an important sign. That's really cheap for a coat. That's like old, old Navy coat for a child. Yeah. Well, I think this is like on a desert island or something. Things are pretty cheap on desert island. <laughs> or San Diego. Oh, it's in San Diego. That's right. Palm it could trees. Be in San Diego. Uh, oh, what here? Here, here is getting fired by um, Lou Grant or someone, a Lou Grant type character. <laughs> oh man! I think he's getting fired because his hat is too loud. <laughs> yeah, keep this <laughs> racket down, or you're out of here. Some sort of alarm going off in his hat, and he's getting yeah, get out of here. He's keep this mad. name tag out of here. I can't even tell what your name is. It's too hard to read. Yeah, and my, mine is much better. Dot, dot, dot. Mine's in, Bra mine's in Morse code. That's, yeah, what, the, that's what the boss said. Why did he take his hat off? I mean, like, Boyd's not wearing his hat. He's hatless, which makes him look weird. And his hat took – his boss took the hat and put it in the garbage for him and handed it back to him. Like, here, free garbage can. What do you mean he, t he gave it back to him? Well, why, is the, why does the boss have his hat, and why is it in a trash can? Why doesn't Boyd have his hat still? Because, dude, he's firing him, man. He said, uh, give me your – Name your tag hat. and your hat. I'm going to put it in the garbage. I mean, the company must own that hat, really. Yeah, it so does. They might, he should be putting it in the, a nicer place with a uh, – there's a lot of inconsistency No, it's here, it's disposable, dude. That's the, the, the name thing. tag. Hey, man, dude, they sell $20, $22 coats, man. All, all the, everything's disposable, even the guard outfits. I think he would keep – those hats, they have a like a reinforced brim. He's all, they, he's all dude, give me, your, uh, give me your badge off your hat. Oh, forget it. it. Just give me the whole hat. It's obviously a name brand know. hat too. If you look at it, it's got the Adidas logo right on the front of it. Oh yeah, it did. Oh, huh. yeah. product placement. Yeah. Interesting. So now he's storming away, and he's starting to become evil. I think he's being driven evil by that big bat signal up in the sky. Mm. It's like Batman shaped thing. He can't figure out if it's a bat signal or not because the shape. If you, is indiscriminable. Yeah. If you look at it upside down, it actually does look like Batman. Like it's got the little cowl with the ears. Oh. Oh yeah, I, I see a big nosed dude about to bite the corner of the of Hernando's. Oh, you're right. I totally see the big nosed guy <laughs> with two little arms hanging down. Well, he's got like a big pimple or something with for the moon. Yeah, he's like ah, pop this. <laughs> oh, gross. Hernando's is the name. That, I don't know where that came from. I think it was something that the real life character that Boyd was based on said. Because oh. there was a guy out in the alley outside of Double Fine. He used to sweep up the alley for us. For ten dollars a week, and then he uh, would say things that were interesting that we get used for Boyd, like the thing about yeah. being a rocket with a, uh, a a turtle with a rocket tied to his back. That was all him, and his yeah. obsession with plastics and pelicans was all him. Yeah, and I he used to talk that. about Hernando, and I never knew what he was talking about. So Hernando is just in there, mysterious, yeah. but it all kind of makes sense. So I have a feeling about this next picture about Boyd. He's throwing what looks like a Molotov cocktail. Yeah, but he kind of looks like a fun guy to hang out with here. He looks like he's the life of the party. Well, dude, I mean, like, he's got fired. He's got all the time in the world to just kind of party down and. He's he's loosened he's his tie. Work. Yeah, he's like the he's like the guy you bring to your poker game, and he's like, I'm gonna, you're gonna, yeah, uh, you know. He's the guy you don't want at your poker game. Well, maybe you, you know, bring him. To, you bring him to the poker game, and then you're like kind of a little bit sorry. You have to apologize for him a lot. Well, only if he actually burns things. Which but, is, looks like pretty obvious. I think that's his point. Well, maybe he's dumb, though, because maybe that's just milk, and he's just trying to set fire to milk. Oh, wait, there's a gas can. That's well, Yeah, there's a gas can. But I mean, why, is there, just, why is there a picture of fire on the side of the gas can? Because it's flammable. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I'm trying to poke <laughs> holes in this, but it's pretty, it's pretty airtight. It's pretty airtight. <laughs> I can't do it. And then look at the end. Look how happy he is. 
Oh, he's not. Oh, he is so pumped. He's so pumped. He's jumping up and down. Okay, I've totally noticed the inconsistency that a big plot hole in Psychonauts altogether. Wow. What? If you look back at the previous picture, the um, milk bottles were on his right, and the trash can was on his left. If you look on this one, the trash can has mysteriously changed position. is now on his right side, and his milk is on the left side. How do you explain that, Scott? Well, if yeah. you look in the previous slide, you'll mm -hmm. see that there's still more milk bottles mm -hmm. in the basket. He still has a lot more work to do ahead of him, which means flinging around stuff, partying. Mm -hmm. So there's a good chance that could end up anywhere. So you're saying time has passed. Time has passed, dude. Time has passed. And maybe a wizard yeah. came and... Actually, yeah, time has passed, actually. Is that definitely a different night than the first night? I just noticed because the moon is more crescent. Oh, yeah, it was a full moon when he got fired. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I bet if you were smart, you could actually calculate how many days elapsed in between. Oh, wait, you know what? Unless that is actually the full moon under his body and then that's just a fl flame of from the fire up there see his little he's sitting on the moon <laughs> that's that's really unlikely that it would be that low it'd be so low that it'd be in it's front of the building also i think the moon i think i don't know but i think no you're right that's the right the moon is going in the right direction i keep trying to bust you on these technicalities me, but you've, you've planned everything dude, so well i bring, can't do it yeah man yeah bring it on dude bring it on bring on the inconsistencies i i definitely you're tight man Oh, and then sadly, here he is in the insane asylum. All mm. He's hatless, and the lines just kind of accentuate how he's missing his hat. But he also, he's wearing his mm. ditto's uh, pajamas. His pajamas ditto. with ditto marks all over him. Yeah. <laughs> that's He gets to choose. his. Wh what, what does he want? He wants the ditto pajamas or the parentheses pajamas or the exclamation point pajamas. He chose the ditto mark once. Well, I assume it's because there's a really catchy slogan on the top part of the pajamas you can't see. And then the bottom <laughs> part, he's just saying... Uh, the same as I said before on the top part. Do <laughs> yeah. you know what I said above on my pajamas? Boyd hired again. What? How could he get a job? He's in an insane asylum. That's what? crazy. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. Let's find out what happened. You're drawing, and it's a drawing of a man drawing, which is pretty heavy. Not, not that heavy, but he's forever. doing he's doing math and conspiracy theories and tic tac toe. Yep, tic tac toe. Which, and as you could see, he won without even putting anything in the tic tac toe. How do you know he won? Because he made that mark through it. He made the mark through down the middle. Yeah, it's interesting. It's very yeah. interesting. I notice he's not very good at math though, because he made a lot of squiggles and plus signs, but not a lot of actual equations. <laughs> well, yeah, this is his. This is his. Just the. Little symbols wall. Except I think behind him he drew an X with one of those fancy squiggles through it, as like like a super fancy X. Oh yeah, that is fancy. And there's a greater than up 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 there. And then he's Tw counted to three and made a hash through it as if it was a five. So he's obviously really confused. That's a good yeah. sign of being crazy. Hey, but he he wrote twelve pretty well. It's yeah. not so bad. Yeah. So and he got busted by a really strange looking creature back there. Uh, busted. Do you coach. think it has to do with the fact that he changed his pajamas to stripes? Yeah, well, he's been at the insane asylum level. He's he's like, he's an extra level up now. He's like a senior patient, probably. Ah, uh, okay. So he graduated. <laughs> Stripe pajamas, to stripe. exactly. Apparently, he's on suicide watch because they haven't given him razors. Because you can see in the next picture, he's really scraggly bearded. Like he's not shaving. Oh, he is. That's true. Yeah. His chest or his is. mouth, his net chin. It gets worse each picture. See, now he's getting confronted with some milk. Oh. The coach is giving him some milk really threateningly. I know, dude. <laughs> really threateningly. The boy does not know what to make of it. And then, in the third picture, he's got the ultimate uh, scruffy neck. Just his neck, though. Not much on his chin or his mustache. I think Just that is all of his chin. Oh, really? And he's drooling. He's drinking milk and he's drooling because he's being hypnotized by uh, cookies with some sort of crazy hypnotic pattern on them. No, that's just peanut butter cookie. It's <laughs> That's the international <laughs> sign of peanut butter cookie. That's a really specific cookie you made there. I know, man. Is that your favorite kind of cookie? I think it might be one of my favorite types of cookies, for sure. But yeah, I love it definitely. It's just the most suggestive cookie. Yeah, most suge Yeah, it matches his eyes. He's got the same peanut. He must have peanut butter eyes, I guess, because of those lines on his eyeballs. I never thought about that. And there's a Hitchcock movie where this person 
uh, goes into a hypnotic trance whenever they see parallel lines because of some horrible skiing accident. I think remember that. In it has like a, the, the one that has like the Salvador Dali sequence. That's obviously oh, what yeah. you're making a reference to. Yeah, it's yeah. like uh, I think it begins with an S. Spellbound, Spellbound, right? Spellbound. Yep, I haven't seen so it, but obviously that's obviously a reference to Spellbound. Even more <laughs> eerie by, made by the fact that you haven't seen it yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know. Other just other disturbing thing in this picture is the wart on Boyd's uh, pointer finger. That's just gross. Oh yeah, no, it's, it's big just wart on his pointer it's, finger. It's just a knuckle. It's just a knuckle. It's it's a professional grade drawing. I like in the next drawing how he's he's taken the cookies and the milk. He's been totally hypnotized, and he's like ex he's chewing, and then then he gets suspicious when it's like a uniform in a Manila envelope with a picture of a milk carton on it. Yeah. He's like, he's like what? All it takes so, is only hmm. what? What? Hmm. <laughs> what? I would like to be a guard again, but yeah. I don't that's his exact outfit. Yeah, he he seems like he's getting a little normal now. He's not as insane. Perhaps that milks is calming him. Yeah, it's calming him down. He's even got a little less of a beard. Yeah, he's he has stubbles going away. That's a that's miracle milk. And his mouth looks looks exactly like a perfect arrow, almost as if it was the sword from the game adventure. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, uh huh. Yeah, and it just killed a dragon. That's what his that yeah. black thing is <laughs> that under. Black thing must be the dragon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so the man. Uh, so the coach has implanted a MK Ultra like assassin uh, post hypnotic suggestion dormant assassin inside his brain under the persona of the milkman, which will hide in his brain until activated. Right. Uh, by milk? No, by something. By what's and it will come destroy the evidence of the coach's evil plan in case he needs to d burn down the asylum someday to cover up his tracks after he makes his army. If something goes wrong with his, I don't know what could go wrong with that plan to create an army of psychic brain tanks, but so it goes wrong. Is all this information in this envelope that he just said? He's he's got yeah, all that. Yeah, he's got it's all that. It's really small. Okay, it's, it's all written really down. Small. I don't want him to yeah. forget. That's a lot of stuff for him to remember. And then and things kind of worked out for him because in the next frame he's a guard again, pretty happy. Damn. Although not not as happy as he was in the department store. That's true. Yeah, now he he's looks more. He really looks more serious. stern. Yeah, he's like, I'm not gonna get fired this time. Yeah, no way, man. I'm gonna guard this gate yeah. like no one's business, even though there's no twenty do dollar jackets. No. Well, there there might be, but I don't know. Just a little doggy door in the gate that um, I think that's where Raz gets through. Yeah, yeah, that's where he goes through there. Or his boy just he you know he opens the whole gate and. Uh, and burns down these sounds. Spoilers. Oh, that's right. Spoiler. Oh. I like it's like an intricate. It's a very intricate, beautiful uh, wrought iron detail on that fence yeah. until you get up to the very top. Yeah. And then it's just a squiggle. <laughs> yeah. Squiggle. Like that, and that's easy to draw. But that would be so hard to actually make with iron. To actually bend yeah. iron into a squiggle shape. That's that's really hard. <laughs> well, I think they just found that in a junkyard and then just put it there. Someday when they make the big uh, Michael Bay style Psychonauts movie, oh, yeah. huge big budget movie, some poor prop person is gonna have to make that squiggle. That's gonna be the nightmare. It's gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be a nightmare for those but guys. They might make this scene in, as a miniature though. Job security though. That's true. Just no, like I'm, just like I'm boys. gonna insist on all practical effects. I want the entire thing built in and a full sized asylum. Okay, full sized. Yeah, wouldn't that be fun? Because we could go to it. That would be awesome. Yeah, we could play around on it like a playground. That would yeah. be cool to make it like, oh, man, Psychonauts uh, Amusement Park, and that could be like a total yeah. playground for kids slide around on it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> With real rats. 